Your mobile plan validity has expired. Recharge immediately to enjoy uninterrupted services. What if I told you that you don't need to pay your phone bills to make calls in the future? Wait, is it really possible to make a call without a SIM card or any airtime? No data, no mobile network, and still talk to someone on a phone? Sounds wild, but this isn't science fiction. A young inventor from Namibia made it happen. And the best part? His device works without using mobile networks, monthly bills, or even internet connections. It's real, and it might change the way people communicate, especially in places where mobile coverage is weak or too expensive. This story starts with a young man named Simon Petrus from Namibia. At just 29 years old, he did something big. He created a phone that doesn't use a SIM card and doesn't need airtime. He actually started working on it back in high school using spare parts he could find. No labs, no high-tech tools, just passion, creativity, and a serious interest in electronics. He grew up in a region where mobile networks don't always work, so instead of waiting for better coverage, he decided to build something new, something that could help not just him but millions of others in rural areas. So how does this SIM-free phone work? This is not your regular smartphone. It runs on radio frequencies, which are the same waves used in walkie-talkies. But it's more advanced than that. It can send and receive voice signals without needing any mobile signal. There's no SIM slot because it doesn't need one. It can reach people within about a two kilometer range, not across countries, sure, but for small villages, communities, or even between neighborhoods, that's a pretty good start. It works kind of like a walkie-talkie, but feels more like a real phone. There's a speaker, microphone, full keypad, and it looks like a regular old-school mobile, only smarter. Ever used a walkie-talkie where only one person can talk at a time? This one's different. You can talk like it's a phone call, no need to say over after every sentence. This device isn't just for making calls. It also includes a TV receiver. Yes, actual TV. Plus, there's a radio, a USB charging port, a light bulb, and even a small cooling fan all powered by a built-in energy source. Sounds like a mini gadget hub, doesn't it? Especially useful in places where there's no steady electricity. Just think about how helpful that could be in remote villages or homes with no regular power. Wondering how it gets the energy to run all that? The secret is in a little built-in power radiator he designed. It keeps the whole thing running without needing to plug it in every few hours. Simon didn't order fancy parts or use expensive equipment. He built this thing using old TV parts, broken mobile phones, and whatever electronic junk he could find around the house. He spent nearly two years figuring things out. He didn't study from textbooks alone. He took apart electronics, tested, failed, and kept trying. And when he didn't understand something, he asked questions. That's how learning happens, step by step, through effort. His parents, though unemployed, believed in him. They supported him with about 2,000 Namibian dollars roughly $150. That was all they could manage, but it was enough for him to finish his prototype. When the invention was ready, Simon took it to a school tech competition in 2016. His school won first place, and the project caught the attention of local media and tech communities. Before this, he had already made a device that could dry and cool seeds, another useful invention. So it wasn't just a one-time thing. This guy really knows how to think differently. But despite the early recognition, things didn't go smoothly afterward. No major company stepped in. No tech fund picked him up. The phone is still not on the market. Does it make you wonder, why wouldn't people jump on something this useful? The problem isn't the tech, it's the system. To sell this kind of device, it needs to be approved by Namibia's communications authority. And Simon's invention uses radio frequencies, which fall under strict government rules. The authorities said they haven't received an official application for approval. So, even though the phone works, it can't legally be used or sold. Yet. Simon tried reaching out for support, but no company or investor took it seriously. That part really frustrated him. He thought by now, people in Namibia would already be using this phone. Can a good invention survive without backing? It's a real question, and one that many young inventors in small countries face. After years of working alone, Simon finally got support for his education. Thanks to a local foundation and mining company, he studied electronics engineering at the Vinuk Vocational Training Center. He graduated in 2023 and is now working to improve his invention. 
One major thing he's working on is making the device smaller. The first version was pretty big, not something that would fit in a pocket. He's also thinking about how to make it more user-friendly, easier to charge, and cheaper to produce. Still using the same idea, free calls, no SIMs, no monthly bills. Why this could be a game changer. In many rural areas in Africa, and in other parts of the world, mobile service is unreliable or way too expensive. People walk kilometers just to find signal. Monthly plans aren't affordable for everyone. This invention offers free local communication, no SIM, no tracking, no bills. It's a simple solution that works where smartphones fail. Big telecoms may not like it, but for remote communities, it's a game changer. Simon's device proves that real innovation can come from anyone, anywhere. For this invention to reach more people, it needs support, not just from the public, but from regulators, investors, and tech experts. It needs testing, approval, and a path to production. The rules around radio frequencies need to be reviewed, and local governments should ask, what kind of communication do rural people really need? Is it 5G or something simple, cheap, and reliable? There's a big gap between good inventions and real impact. That gap is often made up of paperwork, money, and the right people noticing the right ideas. Simon Petrus built something with the power to help a lot of people People. His SIM-free phone proves the communication doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. But the road from invention to real-world use isn't easy, especially when systems aren't ready to accept new ideas. Still, the story isn't over. The technology is real, the need is there, and the inventor is still working on it. With the right push, this simple-looking device might just bring big changes to how people stay in touch, without networks, without fees, and without limits. Would you use a phone like this if it was available in your country? Would it be useful where you live? Let the world know, because sometimes the smallest inventions spark the biggest changes. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.